Hi, I'm David Hamburger, here with the next installment of my Truefire blog, and today we're checking out a lick inspired by the playing of tenor saxophonist Jimmy Forrest. We're playing on a blues in B-flat with a shuffle feel and jazz blues chord changes, and this lick goes over the last four bars, or the turnaround, which is the notorious 2-5-1. So here's what it sounds like. So we're in the key B flat, which means our 2-5, starting in bar 9, is going to be C minor 7, and then F7, and then B flat. Now even though the chords are going 2-5, C minor 7 to F7, this lick really just goes for two bars of F7 stuff over bars 9 and 10. So while we're on C minor 7 and while we're on F, you're basically just playing F7 stuff. see they're hitting all the highlights of an F chord. There's the root, flat 7, there's the 5th, 5th again, there's the 3rd, and the root, and the flat 7. But there's all kinds of crazy chromatic things and uh, embellishments going on. So we start with a pickup of root to 9, and then we play root chromatically down flat 7, and then get chromatically to the 6, to the 5th, and then flat 5 to 6 to 5, to 4, sharp 2 or flat 3, 3, 2, root, flat 7, and then we land on the 3rd of B flat, just when the chords hit B flat. Um, and then at that point, we play a bunch of B flat stuff. Three, five, major seven, nine, major seven, root, nine, three, five. So it's really just those two pieces the F stuff. stuff. And that's kind of the whole thing. Now one thing is that there are sort of reasons for all of these moves on the F part. This is filling in chromatically from root to flat 7, but as you hit that flat 7, this is how we're getting to the 6. We're basically wrapping around the 6 with a, the chromatic note above it and the chromatic note below it. Then we go to 5. And then we wrap around the 5 with the chromatic note below and the chord tone above. And hit the 2nd. And then we do the same thing to the major 3rd. We play chromatically around it with the note a half step above and a half step below before landing. And then come down the scale. But all that stuff is happening at once, so as you land on this note, it's beginning this embellishment. And then... So it's just a lot of different things going on, all kind of rolling one into the next. Anyway, here's what it sounds like again with the track. So that's the lick. It's just a good illustration of how, even though it's 2 and 5, you can really just play 5 over both measures, which kind of saves you a little bit of brain power because you don't have to think about one chord instead of two chords. I like that kind of thing. Anyway, that's this week's lick. I hope you like it too. And I will see you next time. For True Fire, I'm David Hamburger.